Well, in this video, I'm going to tell you all about the good old floppy disk. Floppy disks have been a crucial storage source at a time where there were no other options. The ideal storage version was the 3.5 inches, which stored about 1.44 megabytes. Yoshio Nakamatsu, also known as Dr. Nakamatsu, was the brain behind several notable inventions. He was born on the 26th of June 1928 and was labelled as an eccentric inventor. He claimed to hold the world record for several inventions. According to Nakamatsu, the technology was invented by him during his student years at the University of Tokyo. However, several Japanese corporations turned down his request to produce the floppy disk. This led him to grant the sales license to IBM. How does it work? To know how a floppy disk works, you need to know the different parts of the disk drive. If you have ever used a cassette tape, you will find a lot of similarities between the two. The following parts are present in the floppy disk. Read stroke write heads. The heads are present on both sides of the disk, but not directly opposite each other. One of the heads is used for reading and writing, while the other one is used to erode data before writing a new one. Drive motor. A tiny spindle motor is present at the center of the disc. This keeps the metal hub engaged and it spins at about 300 or 360 rotations per minute. Mechanical frame. A protective window is present on the disc covering the read write heads. The mechanical frame is a set of levers that open this window to engage the heads with the dual sided disc media. On ejection, the window automatically closes and covers the heads. Stepper motor. The stepper motor makes precise stepping revolutions that move the read right head to the right track position. This read right head is attached to the shaft of the stepper motor. Circuit board. The circuit board controls all the electronics responsible for reading and writing the data. Benefits. Floppy disks had several benefits when they were widely used. Portability. They were small and lightweight, making them easy to carry around and use on different computers. Students could make projects at school and continue at home. Low cost. They were relatively inexpensive, making them accessible to a wide range of users. Also, the young people like students could afford them. I remember the old days where you could buy them for 25 cents. Easy to use. They were simple to use and required no special software or knowledge to access the data stored on them. You just put them in your disk drive, like you do now with a USB port. Compatibility. Floppy disks were compatible with a wide range of computers and operating systems, making them a popular choice for data storage and transfer. Offline storage. They could be used to store data offline, which was useful in situations where a computer was not connected to the internet. We can't imagine that anymore, but back in the days, you paid for every minute on the internet. Backup. They were often used as a backup option for important files and data. Why did they replace floppy disks? Floppy disks were replaced by other forms of storage because they had several limitations. They had limited storage capacity and you could only store a small amount of data compared to other storage devices such as hard drives, CDs, DVDs, USB drives and online storage services. They were also relatively fragile and were easily damaged by dust, heat and other environmental factors. Also, because of the slow data transfer rate, people started to choose other items for storage. The security features to protect data from unauthorized access was not good enough. That's why newer technologies and standards have been developed, such as USB drives, online storage services, and cloud storage, which have made floppy disks obsolete. As computer technology advanced, the demand for more storage capacity, faster data transfer speeds, and better data security increased. Floppy disks were unable to meet these demands and were replaced by more advanced storage options. That wraps up the video. Subscribe to our channel and don't forget to press the bell icon to stay notified about our uploads. I'll see you next time. Till then, peace out.